So when I waded into this whole new world of digital content last year, I must say that I was absolutely stunned at the kinds of things that are happening uh, in what is very loosely called digital. Frankly, the, the, the markers are whether content consumption is going to be static or it's going to be mobile. I think that's a much bigger comparison than a comparison which says it'll be digital or non-digital. Secondly, whether the content consumption is going to be linear or non-linear, on-demand, time-shifted. I think these are the two uh, parameters which require debate, not digital, non-digital. Digital, non-digital is, uh, uh, it's, it's a 20th century debate, it's over. Everything is digital. Large format entertainment, film, essentially. Live cricket match is a community experience. You want to watch it with your friends over a glass of beer and you want to take a wager on whether uh, Dhoni is going to win this one or not. Leaving these two formats uh, out, which are largely community-based content consumption formats, uh, almost everything else, believe me friends, is going to move to the handheld device. The days are also gone of having two prime time bands, breakfast TV we heard and dinner TV we used to hear, all of that's gone because this device is sitting right next to you about two or three feet away from your eyes always. So prime time is gone, every time is now news time. Plus also that voice of God is gone because the minute I post something, however much of an expert I may be, the whole world outside has got bigger experts. If I'm writing on Kashmir, there is somebody who knows more about Kashmir than I do. If I'm writing on RDX, there's a chemistry professor there who knows more about RDX than I do. There is, in every which way I write uh, or put something out as a journalist, there is an expert sitting out there who has now the ability to communicate with me in real time, something you never had uh, in the legacy world, in the linear world. Most of digital content is being consumed laterally. You come into a site or you come into an app, you come into it laterally because one of your friends has told you to go and see it and then you click it and you see it. Social media, which was once upon a time seen as a threat to content consumption, is actually today a partner. It's fast becoming a digital distributor, a very intelligent distributor, not a, a, a dumb distributor. Yet it is acquiring the shape of a distributor. And as Google, as Facebook, as Amazon, as Apple, as all these very large companies uh, try and develop a news and information and small format content uh, ecosystem, they actually, I believe, I'm a positive, uh, optimist, uh, optimistic person, I believe they actually become partners for us. The word is intelligent. It, it's not dense content because these are young audiences. They want something intelligent. They want it a little bit uh, quirky with a little bit of a twist but intelligent. They want intelligent stuff. I can, I can show you data point after data point where it's intelligent content which is doing well uh, on digital and not uh, uh, dancing monkeys. I continue to learn every day and the people who are teaching me are 20 somethings. This is a medium of young people. Listen to them because the audience is also very young. Again, I will emphasize this is not about flippant stuff. They want very intelligent content. They just want it with a little twist. Thank you very much.